These are the tools you will need to install and stretch and cut your carpet out. Your basic room. As you can see the carpet is laid and is ready to be stretched and cut. And to give us that example, here we go. As you can see, it's always usually better to go ahead and cut a little bit off. That way the carpet can go inside the baseboard a lot better. There you go, as you can see, he tucked it in. Always good to stretch it, get the wrinkles out. As you can see, you can do it at home yourself. Yes, we have a little bit more of practice, but as you see, we work, so we have other places to be, but you can usually take all the time you need As you see, he tucks in again. Always usually better to tuck in where you see the, where the door or where there's an opening. That way you have all the room to stretch the carpet out. As you can see, the door handle tucks it in. Cuts it. As you can see, he's preparing it. Most likely just tuck in in the corners. As you can see, it's always to tuck in where the doors are always at. That way you have all of this room. No doors, nothing in the middle. That way you can stretch. Right Tucking it again. As you see, he's sliding. So the, the strips can get onto it better here he goes always start in the middle hit a couple of times there you go as you can see you know your carpet is going to be very good install you always start in the middle move to the right and then you go to the left There you go as you gain, as you can see he's sliding his back and forth. Never scratch the baseboard, be careful with the baseboard as you see he does that as, at an angle. That way he doesn't scratch the baseboard. There you go. Always slide to, to the side that way you won't scratch your baseboard he's making it sure that they grab on good now he goes to his other side so always start in the middle hit it and then once you hit it go to your right there you go always keep your leg up in the air that way you can get enough power so where you only have to stretch it once Make sure to try to keep your leg up in the air. There you go. Once again, just lighting to make sure that the strips under there latch on good to the carpet. There you go. And now for the closet. As you can see, he already has that one part. He pulls it out. Make sure he gives it another good stretch. And there you go. Another good stretch. As you can see, he's been doing it for a very long time. We are 
here in the state of Georgia. Winnet County is usually where we work at the most, but we usually go everywhere else. But here you go again, as you've seen. Make sure everything goes inside the baseboard and always be careful with your baseboard because it can crack and you can scratch the paint off. Before you start cutting, always make sure your blade is new. You have a two sides. As you cut, make sure you cut as cut down between the baseboard and the carpet. But always make sure as you cut, you be careful. As you can see, you cut again, always between the carpet and the base, always in the middle. Always cut at an upward position, always as you lay this lighting. Always try to use it like, it's almost like a motorcycle handle. Just try to push it up. That way you'll never be short and it won't be a gap between your carpet and your baseboard where you can tell. As you can see, only six minutes passed by, and we're already at the last stages. Always when you get to the end, be careful because it usually it doesn't cut straight down, so you have to stop at the door. Always tuck in under the door that way. The carpet doesn't lift up. As you can see, 